I just want people to know no one can tell you how to feel, how to look, and how to express yourself and what makes you different. Put your energy into that. I'm Laurel Charleston. I'm a makeup artist living in Brooklyn, New York, and I do makeup for celebrities, editorial, and fine art. I would say that I am very driven and very ambitious, and if there's one thing I can control in this world as a trans woman navigating through it all, um, it's how I show up for myself in my craft. I grew up in a small town in eastern Pennsylvania that seemed so isolated, and even in that town, I knew I always had to express myself. And throughout my whole childhood, that was music, and classical music more specifically. But as I chased my dreams, I was met with the fact that I couldn't bring myself authentically to work in classical music as a trans woman. So I had to tell myself that I'm worth more than this, and that I'm going to find that elsewhere. And I didn't know where that was going to be. Ultimately, looking back, being able to play around with makeup in the solitude of my apartment helped me realize that I was trans, that this felt good and it made me want to be more inquisitive of that feeling. And at the end of the day, makeup was the craft I could take refuge in as a queer person. I think the craft of makeup is so powerful because I get to help other people realize their fantasy. For me, that broke kid, no family relationships, like truly by yourself, the one thing that created a community, created this fantasy for me, was makeup. Which is, it sounds so silly, but now I get to do that for other people. So I love asking people, even if it's my friend, if it's a celebrity, what is your dream? Because nowadays, anything's possible with makeup, and I love helping other people achieve that fantasy. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Amazing. I am attracted to working and collaborating with artists that truly have something to express. Because now that we have all these tools, it's simply just showing people that the toolbox is at your disposal. And I get to be the handy woman to help them show them that, you know? And that's so cool. I get to show them, no, like, look in the back of the toolbox. There's more colors there. There's more patterns. There's more everything. So I just love meeting and working with other artists that have that imagination. As a makeup artist, now in high demand, I just always have my head down. But lately, I've been able to bring my head up and kind of look around and see where I am now and see the people appreciating my work. Like, artists that I respect so much come to me now and they say, what do you think? Words cannot express how proud I am.